Welcome back. And today we're gonna taste test the G Fuel Tetris flavor. So if you enjoyed my videos, hit the like, subscribe. We're at 18 subscribers. So if you guys have anything you want me to taste test, post that in the comments. I, this was a uh, discount at Walmart for two bucks. So it's probably cost like 250 or something. So that's why I wanted to buy it. A few other things, I have one more uh, G Fuel video I wanna upload. But see, because this is Tetris flavor. What is, what is Tetris Blast? What kind of flavor is that? I mean, look at that, Tetris Blast. So it's like one of those flavors, like what do you expect this to taste like? Tetris? Tetris is a video game. This smells like a lot. I know what this smells like. It's like a hint of, um, of Rockstar, whatever flavors in Rockstar. There's like, yeah, there's, this has a unique flavor, like, cause Rockstar doesn't taste like anything either. I'm just smelling it. And it's clear. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes like fruit punch with more flavors in it. There's like a lot of flavors in there. I'm like tasting banana, like, um. Like banana flavor, like what are those called? Um, I don't know what they're called. There's these crunchy candies about this big, and I taste like banana flavor. What are they? I haven't eaten those candies in forever. They're like they're like bananas, and they're like they're tiny like this, and they're crunchy. I don't even know what they're called. It tastes like that that banana flavor. It tastes like a lot. There's like a lot of flavors in here. So many. Like what does it say? I just, see if you guys can see it. I can't pour. I mean, like it's right here. Let me read it. It says um, green. Well, there's a lot, but the last flavors are green coffee bean extract, green tea extract, turmeric, tart, cherry, blueberry, broccoli, kale. Like this is what I tasted. I mean, this is what um, they said on the last thing I reviewed, the PewDiePie flavor. But yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Official Tetris product. So this is like, I feel I feel like there's just so much in here. Like I'm tasting that banana. Am I tasting what else am I tasting? I don't know what to say. There's so many flavors in here, or maybe there's just one flavor. <laughs> maybe I'm completely wrong. There's just one flavor that just tastes like everything. Yeah, I feel like I smell that banana. Like, now I smell it. Since I tasted it. It's like banana flavor, which banana flavor tastes nothing like bananas. Because, like, if you ever made something with bananas, like I made banana bread and then put more ingredients in there, only thing you taste is bananas. Bananas like one of those flavors that overpower everything. Let me read the other things. I feel like there's like a medicine aftertaste. Like whatever. Like whatever, when you take medicine, right? You have the flavor and then you have a medicine aftertaste. Oh no, that's what it tastes like. Like a little bit of that grape medicine. Cause I, like they're not medicine. They're like, no, <laughs> what are they called? The Flintstones candy no for instance vitamins or something there's just so much going on in here i said banana i said flintstone vitamins yeah there's there's so much going on in here like th this is it's probably why i was on discount you know i feel like if they put things on discount on walmart they're terrible so i don't know I mean, one thing on was on this count was uh the what's that thing called, the Peeps flavored Pepsi, which that was surprisingly good. It doesn't taste like Peeps. I guess that's why people were not buying it, but it was fairly good. But this, I mean, it's not terrible, 
but it's not one of those flavors that you kind of, I mean, it's like, like what makes Rockstar and Red Bull like taste, excuse me, I mean, what makes them so unique? What makes Rockstar and Red Bull their unique flavor and why do you want to buy it? This is one of those flavors that tastes so much that like, uh, (laughs) I guess that's why it's on sale on clearance. That people, I'm not going to buy this again, of course, but I'm not throwing away. Like, I've had some terrible flavors that I just, I was like, this is awful. I'm not even going to finish this. But, hmm. Yeah, let me write this. It's actually getting cold already. Let me read more stuff on it. Oh, let me show you the can before I write it. People are like, why are you so zoomed in? I'm trying a new lens. I usually record, oh, it's over there, my other lens. I usually record with a 16 millimeter lens. This is a 30 millimeter lens. As you can tell, it's more zoomed in. Cause I mean, I feel like you wanna use lenses for different purposes. And this lens is more like product, like it's right in your face. I mean, I got another lens, 50 millimeter, but that, I gotta move the camera so far away for that 50 millimeter lens. I need to do like, now I kind of want to do review on these lenses because I bought so many lenses. Before I became like a video YouTuber, I I bought lenses to take pictures. But you can use, the cool thing about cameras is you can use lenses from the 70s, but they don't have autofocus. Like like I have a lens from the 70s, really good, better than this, but it doesn't have autofocus. I'll, I'll have to sit there like constantly put myself in focus. Like I can go like this. And it's going to be in focus, but that lens from the 70s is not going to be in focus. I got to twist it all the time. So that's that's a cool thing about lenses. You can use old vintage lenses, but you got to know they're not going to have autofocus. But eventually there's going to be technology. Like I have some technology that makes vintage lens autofocus, but not, <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me, but not for video. It's like they intentionally did not put that technology, <coughs> excuse me. It's like they intentionally did not put the technology for autofocus, a vintage lens, for video. Like it does autofocus for, um, like how, do, how does it do autofocus? How it does autofocus? It just moves it up and moves it back. That's it. That's all it takes to focus a lens. When you twist the lens, all you're doing is moving the lens forward or backwards. So there's technology out there that you're going to have lenses from the 50s or 60s that you're going to be able to use with a modern camera and have autofocus. But, but I'm just... I'm just going on a tangent. All right, so I showed you guys the can. I mean, this, I mean, it's not terrible, but I'm definitely not going to buy this can. There's just so much flavors going on here. What can else can I taste? I mean, not much. I'm tasting that banana for sure. Banana and maybe grape, fruit, um, Flintstones, vitamins, but it's all right. But this is what I rate this, okay? Um, it's not a nine. Because nines is really good stuff. Eight means it's decent. I'll probably buy it again. So either either a seven or a six. I think like six is kind of getting in the terrible department. Is this a six or is this a seven? I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, six, I, they got to have like some really bad flaws in it. So it's not terrible, but I won't buy this again. It's, and it's not like... It's not terrible, so I can't get it a six. Yeah, I feel like a six is getting in the terrible department. So this is a seven out of ten. So if you enjoyed my videos, hit the like, subscribe, and I'm out.